This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Technology can redefine the quality of one's life. This week on Bite It, we explore a world of gadgets that can lend a helping hand, especially to those whose needs are different. Also on our show, innovations and contraptions made by students at IIT's Tech Fest, Shastra 2009. And finally, the Shrikant is all set to take on Wayne Rooney and other football greats in a game of FIFA 10. Countries like Japan keep the elderly in mind while designing futuristic products. How will it help their aging population and how can technology help them live better and longer lives? The same logic can and should be used while designing products for the people whose needs are different. Pratibha Raman has the story for us. technology is life-changing, we mean every word of it. Today we are talking specifically about the world of opportunities that it has opened up for the differently abled. And this you can see at one of the special schools in the city, Vidya Sagar. Two decade old Vidya Sagar is a renowned educational institution for children with special needs. Here, one sees technology being tapped to its fullest potential. It's not only wheelchairs equipped with special mechanisms, but the management also constantly update their teaching equipment with softwares and ingenious devices to facilitate their students' learning process. Technology has made a huge difference to disability. Then obviously Vidya Sagar, since we keep up with the time, one of the purposes is to work towards independence. The problem is that it's expensive. It's expensive. And unless the government partners and makes it possible for organizations like ours to access technologies, it becomes very difficult. But we are lucky. We are working with IIT, we are working with Anna University, we've networked and we've worked out indigenous technology that suits us. Joystick, for example, it helps Shanmuga Priya steer her way through her classes. Made by Caliday Motors, these electric wheelchairs are designed to run on motors with joysticks playing the role of steering wheels. Once the wheelchair is fully charged, Shanmuga Priya can run it for 5 kilometers on her own. The children charge their wheelchairs at home, which they can recharge in school. The classes here make use of unique softwares to help educate children. Boardmaker and Slate use pictures as tools to communicate. Now if the mouse is difficult to handle, it comes either in the form of a switch where you just need to tap or as a sensor where you just need to wave your hand over it. Picture this. These two devices can be USB'd into any electronic one like a camera or a scanner and all I have to do is press or just wave my hand over it to operate it. Rohit Jain is very dexterous indeed. I realized I have to move to another amazing institution called Worth Institute where technology is tailor-made for the people there. Worth Institute is a rehabilitation and a training center for the disabled. Established nearly 45 years ago, the institution uses a lot of gadgets and softwares to help the physically challenged, especially the visually impaired. For example, Magic Software. This highlights the text of web pages and Microsoft Office documents. It also enables the user to adjust the size of the cursor and the mouse pointer. That's not all. The speech option activates the audio and you can choose the functions you want and then as you type, every letter you type is read out by the embedded audio. It's only a matter of 
matter of time before the users master the keyboard. However, there is a software to aid them in the process, Talking Typing Tutor. This software audibly spells out each letter and you click that on the keyboard. Consequently, your typing speed increases. There are also special keyboards for those who use only one hand. Frog pads are about the size of palm top. Compact in size, some of the keys play multiple roles. They come designed for the left and the right hand respectively. Gone are the days when people had to sit with slates and stylus to prepare braille documents. Today, it's just a click away. A word document gets translated instantly to a braille document. Thanks to the software, Win Braille. The Printer Pro version 2 prints the braille document with the same embossed effect similar to the manual one. Using the latest technology available, we train them to use the computers for the print disabled, especially visually impaired persons. Wind Braille particularly, with the, we are able to convert the printed books into Braille in a matter of minutes and this is helpful to the college students and uh, all the educational purposes. The only disadvantage I find is these technologies are available in English language and for a country like India, which is using diverse languages, if the technology is made available in local language, it will benefit more number of people. Worth Institute also has another interesting gadget, Sara Text Reader. This gadget looks like a scanning machine and acts like one too. The page that you want to read is placed on the scanning board. Press the play button, the page gets scanned and the speakers will emit every word on the page. The text reader enables the user to save the page as a virtual document in the machine. All you have to do is pick out the file name and the machine records it. There are buttons which allow you to head to the next line or the previous paragraph. The speed of reading can also be set. And finally, you can even play files from a DVD or burn files from the reader to a disc. The Sara Text Reader costs a lakh, but its value is immeasurable. Let's now move to Gindi to see how technology made Padmanabhan's dream come true. I have a lot of people who are affected by the independent of 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 the Padmanabhan put his knowledge of computers to good use. He modified his Tata Indica and how? The button on the gear knob plays the role of a clutch. He programmed it with a microprocessor where the speed sensors tuned automatically to the respective gear. He also attached a handlebar to the steering wheel, which replaced the use of the accelerator and brake pedals. Uh, so, I internet, uh, internet search pani, search pani Enna best one In the design, it depends on a disability condition. Padmanabhan has modified the cars of nearly 200 other people so that they can drive. Take technology and place it in the hands of someone with a will. See how far they can steer the course of progress. World over, creators and manufacturers are coming out with new products for the differently abled. In just a few minutes, some students from IIT show off a potentially path-breaking innovation for people with speech difficulties, Touch Talk. 
and later on an in-depth review of the latest in the FIFA series, FIFA 10.